Okay, this is another room with Mod Wright from Seattle Hi-Fi. Hey, how you doing? This is always nice when they do the press sheet. All right, thanks. Is this a new finish for you doing the black and white uh, with the knobs in the uh, chassis? Yeah, well, we, we offer it in black with the silver or the black knobs. It's upon request, really. Okay, so that's kind of a silver. Yeah, I like the yeah. contrast. It looks really good. Yeah, a lot of people like it. <laughs> uh, my friend Doug has your headphone amp. He really oh, yeah. likes it. Yeah, he got a custom finish, too. Right. Uh, no, I like to listen whatever you guys, you know, whatever you guys enjoy. This is where I find new stuff, you know? Yeah. We did just play Across the Hall. One of my favorites is uh, And So It Goes by Jennifer Warrens. Whose turntable is this? Is uh, AMG. AMG. Okay. And the cartridge? It's a uh, Benz. Benz. Micro. Gold. Yeah. Uh, Definitely gold looking. Yeah. It's got a nice bling to it. Yeah. Uh, the the well. That, the one, the one to the right, no wait, actually, that, this one here, the well. This is 
It's just as well for all I've seen And so it goes And so it goes And you're the only one who knows So I would choose to be with you That's if the choice were mine to make But you can make decisions too And you can have this heart to break This is why my eyes are closed It's just as well for all I've seen And so it goes And so it goes And you're the only one Who knows Thank you for playing that. Uh, which speakers are these? The Rebel? These are Rebel F228. F228. And what do they sell for? 11,000. 11,000? Okay. And you, are you, these are new amps these that you're doing? They're just, they're just now in full production. Okay. They are KWA 99 normal blocks. They're 100 watts in the class. Probably 100 watts in 8 ohms, 204 ohms. They're a, a, a high bias class AB. Okay. It's a portion of the loss or if you're a class A. Gotcha. A large portion. I had a dream. The MOSFET, which is a new... Woke up... Most of our amps are bipolar. These is that use, right? Okay. These use a newer... Full wound uh, breaking. Newer production of old style MOSFETs. Now very the trees. Much. So... And, in and then this the is the power supplies for your... Yeah, power supply for the, the left the power supply for the phono. Phono, oh, no. okay. The XT with the tube supply. And the power supply on the right is for the LS99 preamp, which is also new, and it's the complement to the KWA99. Fully balanced in and out, um, fully balanced in and out, and um, remote triggers for the amps, uh, remote volume views, phase, um, both RCA and XLR can put that out. Yes, beautiful gear, beautiful sounding gear. You started in uh, modding gear. That's why you called mod right. Years ago, yes. Yeah, and uh, in fact, one of my friends just bought one of your modded Oppo players that was still in the market. He jumped on it as soon as he could get it because, yeah. We did so many of them. I know. They're, they're still sought after. Well, Oppos are sought after full stop. For, yeah. Oppos are sought after as well. Yeah, when he paid for it, it was a lot for a used gear. So that tells you stood the test of time and your work as well. So. Yeah, props to you on that. Uh, but then you d going into your own line, beautiful chassis. You're not doing the overbuilt heat sink stuff and all that, which no, is. It's, and it's, it's good you mention that because one of the things I'm trying to do here, the photo stage is based on our reference, but it's 5,000 bucks. The frame is based on our reference, it's 4,500. And a lot of that cost reduction is by simplifying the enclosures. Yeah. People don't realize how much they're paying. All that chassis is expensive. Yeah, yes, very expensive. It, the more you aluminum and crap that yeah. you have to so put, yeah. that's the most expensive part on most amplifiers is the heat sink. And so people are just throwing their money away, in my opinion, uh, for just purely aesthetics. And it's taken more than even the outlet could even deliver to begin with. So, and certainly more than most speakers need. So that's one thing. If I can help educate people in the hobby that. Don't get, too, you know, hey, it's your money. Buy whatever you want. Right. You know, if that's what turns you on, that's fine. But just realize you're really wasting yeah. on empirical terms a lot. There's a market for, I mean, you know, some people, you know, want different things. Um, but I think that, and, and sales figures have showed me based on the, on the, the photo stage. It's our best-selling product ever. Is that right? Okay. It's a great photo stage. 
and the base model is uh, 3500 you know, with the X is 4750 and it's 250 with the tube supply. And you can, you know, there's op options. But it told me that people want something that's a little more affordable, that's more compact, it's very high performance. Yeah. And it's a market, so. That fits on shelves, that's got in smaller environments. Yeah, this is great. 10 inches wide, all the new components are 10 inches wide. Okay. It fits you on a shelf. A lot of blocks are 10 inches wide. You mentioned these things. These things are fully exposed as far as heat rejection. Yeah. So I can so I can be more efficient there as well. Yeah, it's got airflow on it. You got some vents on it, yes. and it's very attractive. You know, this is how gauges I think should be done. More yes. just you can't read them anyway. It doesn't tell you that much, but it's cool. It's an aesthetic feature. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, of course it is. It's, it's strictly aesthetic. But I'm a big fan of black and white. So this, uh, even though that's technically silver, it comes off as a cool right. black and white contrast. So it's a good looking system. Yeah. All right, well, appreciate it.